my depression started when I was 12. I also had mm. anxiety. Now the anxiety is mm, very low. I don't feel that much anymore. But how, however, the depression is um, sometimes unbearable. And um, when I was 13, I started self-harming. The mm. self-harm mm, kind of got worse. And I don't, of course, I won't uh, describe the... Uh, details but sure. it's it got worse from uh, july august okay in august <laughs> i uh, took pills but mm. i didn't really know anything about the dosage so it failed as you see <laughs> yeah. um and about a month from that i got admitted into a psych ward I was there for a month and a week and oh um, yeah, I don't want to scare you. Uh, it's important <laughs> to remember that I am in Poland, the mental health services and especially psych wards and especially child uh, psych wards are extremely underfunded. Uh, but I talked to a psychologist for maybe 30 minutes two times during my stay there and so, uh, um, a stay of a month and an, a month yes. and a half and yes he's talked to a psychologist twice <laughs> <laughs> and my visits with uh, the psychiatrist were really like a physical exam or uh, just talking about i don't know my family or when will i get discharged from there and oh so gosh. The food was also terrible. I, as you may know, I have ARFIT, Avoidant Restrictive Food Intake Disorder. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. So, uh, and I also didn't know that it existed then. I thought I was just weird. Um, so the food wasn't... Um, I ate only bread there, really. And maybe a pasta without any sauce, if I was lucky. Um, oh my God. Yes, I. Uh, at the end, all the psychiatrists and psychologists um, quit their job, so the <laughs> the world was closed. <laughs> I'm laughing now, but it's of course. So uh, the ward scary. was closed, and that's why you were discharged. There was a doctor when I was this. I was um, near my discharge date uh, yeah. from another hospital, but it happened when I was there, and I avoided the the closing. But um, yeah, so I got home. I was really controlled by my parents, and well, it's not really that weird when your child wants to and their life it's i think it's natural to want to know what i what they are doing um yeah. and i self harmed pretty bad but when i got to the doctor the he mm. said that there's an ocean of books that i should read to get better and life is beautiful he was around 70 <laughs> <laughs> and that's how he treated my <laughs> self-harm wound that requires teaching. Um, but remember, if you're self-harming and your wounds don't require teaching, it's just as important as those who, um, mm. who it's require It's not a competition. It. Yes, yeah. yes, it's not a competition. And I don't want anybody to... Um, I forgot the word, uh, compare themselves to me. Um, yeah. yeah, and then I, uh, like four or three days ago, uh, from this incident at the doctor's, I was uh, having a psychosis attack. Um, oh and God. yeah, I think it's for, it was from depression. The, uh, I read somewhere that depression can cause psychotic attacks. Hmm. And uh, I was 13 at the time. I didn't know what was happening. 13? Yes. Yes. Um, 
it felt like I taken I don't know drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking like I was really heavily drunk. <laughs> Um, that the world is in our hands or something. I was texting all my friends or the um, group chats with this bull. Yeah. And my mom <laughs> called the uh, uh, ambulance and they gave me, I don't know if you will know what it's called in English, if I will tell you, hydroxyzina. Hydroxyzin. Hydroxyzine. Hydroxyzine, yeah, they yeah. gave me two of those. And oh, I hate, I hate hydroxyzine. It I makes my brain too. so. It, I just can't <laughs> focus on anything. Like yes, I... I took that for a while for sleeping, but it didn't really work. Hmm. And um, after this incident, I was. Uh, my parents told me that I'm going to a psych ward just for some, um, some tests. Uh, for a few hours, of course, I was there for another month. <laughs> um, and um, can, I, can I just? I, I, I don't. I don't want to sort of interrupt okay, your flow okay. or anything, okay. but I, I just find it absolutely incomprehensible about like how how men, how healthcare professionals or or people think that it's it's a suitable thing to. To basically just lock up someone who's who's recently like attempted or someone who's who's self harmed quite badly and yeah and only see them twice once for a physical exam yeah and then ex expect when they're released for them to be to be okay in a better, or, into yes. in a better state <laughs> and <laughs> like, <laughs> not to return there anymore. Um. Well, it's, you'd be worse, aren't you? Because it's, it's a horrible experience. So you yes. It's maybe a little bit traumatized me. The patients helped me a, a lot more than the actual doctors. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and this psych ward was um, the doctors and the psychologists were a little bit more, um, uh, well, they were talking to us, but the you had an individual con consultation with the psychologist just once a uh, in a week which yeah. is also not ideal but still better um the but individual was... or individual or group kind of yes there was also something called group sorry therapy <laughs> but <laughs> it was just smelling candles and the psychologist reading us children's stories, children's books. So that what? was. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> the patients there were like 14 or 15. Yeah, there's the ch ch children, sorry. But <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, and, exactly. That's. Yeah. And. I, t <laughs> the, not, you, you, I know you're saying about. Um, you know this 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 situation being in Poland. Yeah. But I've heard I've heard a lot of stories from people in the US and the UK who, you know, go in. It's it. I have to say it's not quite as bad as that as having really bad, bad it's food. It's still and, bad. I know. Yeah, and um, like the environments that they put you in from yes. from going going to these places are just like the worst. Like you you huddle together with other people who are really struggling yes. and you're you're expected to eat certain things and go to sleep at certain times and wake up at certain times and like yes it's like it's like more of a prison like a short oh, term that, like yes, we'll put yes. a we'll put like a a time out on them and then they'll yes, so they'll be they released. won't kill themselves <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just not helping them but uh, it's Delaying. just for them yes yes um, and, uh, I have a question actually, you're in the UK. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. But I had a question if, uh, psych wards in America are paid, uh, as mm. there is only private healthcare. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I'm not too sure about that. 